it's a Valentine EX Tur with another Final Fantasy Theory, Final Fantasy 7 to be specific, because that's what some of these theories is. It's going to be a chronological saga. Sorry, I'm not feeling too good. I just, earlier today, I got doxxed, so, you know, I cut off my stream, my Naruto stream, because I almost stroked out because it stressed me out that bad. So if I'm just a little stressed and tense, that's probably why. Okay, let's get into it now. What would happen if Zack survived? Now, for Zack to survive, it would have to go back when Cloud... It, when it, it would have to go back when Cloud and Zack were fighting Sephiroth in Nibelheim. Where, um... Where, if in this case, Zack didn't lose the battle. In this case, in this case, Zack would won the battle and defeated Sephiroth. And this would probably be once and for all. Let's put l l let's put a what if scenario that Zack defeated Sephiroth, and this was once and for all. Like Sephiroth didn't get to make it to the live stream, got stabbed, you know, really hard with the Buster Sword, and got defeated really badly by Zack. When I, when that happens, Hojo wouldn't want to experiment on Cloud or Zack. You know, they'd they probably return to Soldier, but I think they'd start questioning Soldier. So eventually. Eventually, they'd still end up betraying the soldier. But this time, since Cloud is over the Mako poisoning, and Cloud didn't have to fight Sephiroth, so he didn't get stabbed or got Mako poisoning again, he would, you know, then Cloud and Zack would be able to stand a fighting chance against Shimmer's infantrymen, since it'd be both characters. And since Cloud's super strong as it is, considering when he got stabbed by Sephiroth, um, you know, and he was able to stand up, you know, Cloud, you know, Cl Cloud would be a good help to Zack. They'd both be damaged, but they wouldn't be in death. They'd be, at least be, may be able to make it to Midgar and probably receive healing from Eris. And I said, probably. They'd probably find Eris's church. After they get healed up, what would happen would be they both join up with, um, Avalanche. Now, just like my Lacretia, it, it, just like my Lacretia and Vincent would have hooked up, or should I say, is the Vincent Valentine's Lacretia's, I mean, no, the Vincent Valentine is, you know, Sephiroth's stepfather video. With that video, it kind of played the same, except this one won't have, this continuity probably won't have Vincent and Lacretia. If anything, it'd have, look, it'd have Vincent, if, it'd probably have Vincent you know, in this one, because the original storyline will play like it is. Or, it might not, depending on what happens. Now, it might not happen, because, you know, at this point, if Zack helps Cloud and Avalanche, they defeat Shinra. Rufus would be pushed, Rufus Shinra would be pushed to surrender, just like he did, just like he did in, um, just like he did in, um, in, in, the, in the first theory video, he'd be pushed to surrender. Now, I think even if you go way before that, um, I'm, I'm, I'm recording some on there. But I think even way before that, um, I think they'd have to fight Genesis, so it'd be way before, go, go way back. So they, they both overtake and defeat Genesis, of course, before all this happens, but... You know, when he, we're going to skip time, and this is after Soldier hunts down both Cloud and Zack because they'd both be, you know, they'd both be traitors to Shinra. So, with them, you know, with, with them, you know, joining Avalanche, it played kind of the same. Because if Sephiroth is defeated and never gotten a chance to do what he did in Final Fantasy VII, all they have to do is defeat Shinra, and then peace will be you know, bought to the world of Gaia. And pretty much, Final Fantasy VII would be pretty much shorter. Now, we don't know if Vincent and Yuffie would play any roles in this. And I'd say probably not. I think the only characters that'd be in your party in the game would be Zack, Cloud, Barrett, Tifa, um, Red 13, and Eris. At this point, because this would be a shorter game, because they defeated both Sep Sephiroth was defeated way back, and and Shinra was defeated way earlier, which would end the final pieces of the game. Now, you do 
Now, if Sephiroth finds a way to come back, eventually they're going to be able to... And then, if Sephiroth would have came back, then it'd probably have a way for Vincent and Yuffie to be put into... Probably put into... You know, into the party to fight Sephiroth, you know. And it's the same thing. It'd be really, really... It'd be a really, really... Oh, it'd be a really, really short game. So, if Zack would have survived, they would have been able to defeat Sephiroth and Shimmer a little bit earlier. But if, like I said, if Sephiroth came back somehow, in some way, it'd still be pretty easy. It'd extend the story a little bit so Yuffie and Vincent would be in the party if that, if that was the case. So, yeah. And if Genova's defeated... Same thing. It'd probably be. It'd be. It'd still be. It'd still play out as a shorter game if Zack survived. If Zack survived the attacks, you know, and survived everything, which he would have to survive the fight against Sephiroth because that's what caused the Shinra army to go after him for running away from Hojo with Cloud. So that's what started that. So it would have to go. Zack would have to win the battle. But it'd make a shorter storyline, so there you go. I did the best I could, and remember guys, this is only a fan theory. This is not canon or anything. This is only theory and speculation of what would happen. If you got any better version of the theories, or any better iterations of the theories, please comment them below on YouTube. So, this is Vince Valentine, Turk. Done.